face it, is a Blender add-on with rigging, editing, and facial captured features to create the 52R kit blend shapes for your model. Today we're going to talk about the preparations that you need for your model, specifically for the eye origin, so that the bone controls in face it will work correctly. So right now I'm going to hide the entire hair. And we are going to notice that the eye's origins are exactly on the center of the object volume. And this is important to notice because once we start manipulating the eyes, it's going to go off boards. So what you need to do is to imagine an imaginary circle volume for your eye. And I'm going to be drawing this uh, axis right here, which are the eyelids opening and closing. And this center point that I'm draw drawing right here, it's going to determine the position for the bone, the, the correct position for the bone to, to appear later on when we are rigging. Please notice that these are some tips for anime faces, okay? So what we want to do is to take the object position, the object uh, mode, and then come here into options, click on origins, and use the arrow keys or the positioning tool to bring this origin back into this exact place. Okay, so this is going to be our guide to position our bone later on. Because this is the origin, now it will rotate from this right side view in the correct uh, position for the eye axis. Okay, this is important. So let's go back, uncheck origins, and now let's check from the other eye. We're going to do the same procedure. I'm doing this slowly so you can see it. And now we're going to position this also on this site, on this place. Uh, you can do this also by uh, moving the cursor, 3D cursor, if you want to be more exact. But I have done this so many times that I already know how it's going to work. Okay, so this works for the side view. Let's go for the top view. This is important as well. I'm going to be switching my camera into the top view. Let me switch this off. I'm going to be uh, testing this so you can see that it already moves with the correct uh, volume if we can say it so but the axis is still off so let's go into the top view and now we need to calculate which position for the bone will be the appropriate one to drive the eye object so I'm going to be drawing this line over here because this is the way it's intended to rotate inside the sclera or the white area of the eye that we do not see and we do not have but don't worry we only need to move the origin just again imagine that the bone is going to be placed right here when the facet controls are created i'm also going to rotate this so you can see that the y-axis is correctly aligned to the direction of the eye again i'm i'm doing this you know just uh, eyeballing <laughs> uh, pun intended so that you can see approximately how it is done by hand but you can do this with the 3d cursor i'm not going to do that again because i have done this so many times i'm just showing you this as quickly as possible so that you get the, the idea you get the notion why we need to do this first because it's important when you register the objects the eye objects for facet controls so that the bones will manipulate this later on when we are creating our facial blend shapes and that's it if you have come to this Part of the video thank you very much there are other videos i'm doing for this face it series of rigging anime character faces i will be covering the entire face it workflow in blender